Hello guys, my name is Ari Singh and I'm glad to welcome you to TikTok Life Family. As at the time of recording this video, I already have my master's degree in engineering management at Coventry University, England, United Kingdom. On this channel, we talk about study abroad, job visa sponsorship and travel tips. If that interests you, please do well to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified anytime we upload a new content like this. If you have done that, thank you so guys in today's video i'm going to walk you through an automatic full scholarship in australia it is no more news that australia has become one of the top study abroad destinations for international students because of the numerous international opportunities embedded in the country this full scholarship is available for international students with a background in design and architecture business and economics education engineering information technology law medicine and health science, pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences and science. And it is specifically for master's and PhD students. Interestingly, you don't need the help of an agent to apply to this school. All you need to do in addition to your application is to fill out the expression of interest form, which they must have already designed and kept in their website for students to fill out. I'll be walking you through all you need to know about this application. Remember, you don't need a separate application for this scholarship. All you need to do is to indicate your interest for the scholarship during your admission application. Then they will assess your feed for the scholarship with document that you must have submitted during your application. I will also explain how to apply, the deadline for application, and the monetary value for this scholarship. So guys, if you are ready, come with me to my computer. Let me show you guys how you can do everything on your own without the help of an agent. Let's go so guys what we're going to be looking at is monash school so we go to google and type monash.edu that's www.monash.edu this is the landing page you have about study research enterprise international and more so the first thing you need to do is to click on how to apply and just put them on a new tab how to apply fee scholarship and international so you see it will take you to this um page now when you get to this place application we have the real scholarship um, application process we have through domestic for domestic direct application direct application for international student so this is where you'll be applying if you want to apply are you getting it now let me show you some things you need to know now we have um 168 graduate programs or courses so these are accounting um advanced nursing analytics applied data science applied linguistics architecture banking and finance biotics biostatics so these are the courses that we have then if you come here you have graduate programs or undergrad program which is 147 as you can see 147 courses accounting we have um, applied data science applied architectural design art and design criminology and art art and art science so you just take your time to go through you go to the next one you see now this is where the things you have to do uh, when applying with them it says congratulations on taking the first steps in applying on that undergraduate um, program are you getting it so let's look at um the, the eligibility check your eligibility admission into monarch graduate research degree is dependent upon meeting the entire requirement specific to the course so we have a um, doctoral degree and master's by research so this too for you to do any program on that then research master research and doctoral degree you have to have two one and above so now for the english proficiency i'll be showing you guys that you don't need to write IELTS. i'll be showing you first soon okay so what you, what you need to do first step is to check your eligibility second step um ensure that you um submit an expression of interest prior to applying for a graduate research degree you will need to submit an expression of interest to the relevant faculty or academic unit each faculty has a different eoi expression of interest process so please and read any instruction provided in carefully so are you seeing it so 
the third and uh, this thing is to submit so after you've gone through the expression of interest you interest you submitted it then you now go to your application so now if you look at it this is run one this is run three so international applications they have uh, it's open from september last year to march enrollment period is july so which is still ongoing as we speak run three will be april to august of this year are you getting it so let me show you something the fees now these are the fees and funding so you have all students domestic international so if you click on international you will get to this point now under here we have scholarship awards and grant so this research training program rtp step in let's check it out and see how much these are more you can see the scholarships that are available so let's look at this one rtp this one how to apply firstly you first of all look at it you have this amount $35,000 you see it and it's four round year per year so it's four rounds per year so research training program RTP scholarship are provided by the Australian government to support both domestic and international students undertaking research and research master's degree as part of this program RTP stipend living allowance is available to help support are you seeing it so there is living allowance there is um stipends that will be given to you guys so you don't need to worry about it just ensure you put your expression of interest am i eligible so let's check the eligibility you must be one of the following an australian citizen a new New Zealand citizen australian primary resident australian humanitarian visa holder and international students so that's where you fall in so are you getting it so if you look at it, you must meet the following criteria look at the criteria you must meet monash competitive scholarship selection process requirements and meet monash english language proficiency requirement so we'll click on this now so that we see the english criteria so click on this part you get to here so it says english proficiency it says sound english and skills is required okay language of instruction qualification completed it says if an applicant first language is not english like in nigeria ghana her first language in english so you see the list of countries so these countries are exempted if your country falls on this in this category you don't need to write IELTS or any you don't need any english uh, profession exam so look at nigeria here yeah? as you can see look at ghana as you can see so namibia is here tanzania so take your time go through are you seeing it zambia zimbabwe so sierra leone so these are some of the african countries i can see there so you which means don't need that uh, exam are you getting it so you go let's look at um applying with them so to apply like i said it takes three steps you see it's check your eligibility submit your expression of interest so let's assume we are interested in medicine nursing and health science department okay so what i'll do now i'll click on medicine so when you click on it the department that you want it says in addition to monash university applicant for monash medicine nursing and health science graduate research degree should review the following information when preparing an application obtain an, an innovation to granism so the expression of interest signed by an accredited potential supervisor so you must look for uh, what you they are saying is that you look for you go to your department and check for supervisor are you getting it so this is the expression of interest form it says visits to obtain an invitation to apply so you please so we'll click this in a new tab and click this and also in a new tab okay so what we need to check now is the expression of interest form let's see how it looks like all right so 
I'll open it now so we'll see how it looks like. Okay, so this is the expression of interest form that you're going to fee. Every department has their own unique number, so you must be careful so you don't use the one for nursing for others. Okay, so this is for nursing, department of nursing and nursing. So you fill it and submit. So you follow the instruction. On it, that's the expression of interest for max in the department I, I clicked. So now let's look at how to obtain an invitation to apply. You need to receive an invitation to apply before you apply. To receive an invitation to apply from, from a potential supervisor within Monash Medicine, Nursing, and SN, you need to find a supervisor who agrees to supervise your research. You can browse for potential supervisors and interest via this. You see it can go through here, yeah. you can go through Supervisor Connect or contact individual schools, department and institute directly, as Pomonac Medicine. So these are the four ways you can find under this department. So after you've secured a supervisor, the second step is applicant complete and sign expression of interest. So you must get your supervisor first before you now go to the second step to apply. Then the third step is send the completed sign EOI along with CV and academic transcript to potential accredited supervisors for review and approval and faculty school endorsement. The EOI signed by a potential supervisor can be used as an invitation to apply when submitting research degree application. Are you getting it? So, so for you to apply, you click here to apply. So remember, like I said, you don't need, it's free to apply. So no application fee no application fee are you getting it so we still have time remember we still have um time so you have to apply please don't forget to leave your questions in the comment section i'll be more than happy to assist you all right so guys that's all for now remember the deadline the round one for international student is September or last year to 31st March. So this is it. And round three, there's no round two. So round three will be April to 31st August. So remember the scholarship available for the stipends. So if you are that type of a person that is very good, you have 2.1 and above. As CJP, you want to go for masters, you can go.